this is Lucas Life here and today I'm going to be doing a video about that Arsenal have announced the signing of Portuguese under 21 international Nuno Tavernas. Yes, he signed today. He was travelling from um, Portugal, um, from Benfica to London to have his medical and he's now signed for Arsenal. Nuno Tavernas is a left back which is pretty much cover for Kieran Tierney. And he'll be wearing the new shirt for next season. And the number jersey, what he's been given, is number 20. But before we do talk about this uh, signing, don't forget to smash the like button. Leave your comments down below. And we are 34 away for 1.1k. Can we get that done by the end of August? We really appreciate if we can. And uh, can we have 20 likes on this video? And uh, subscribe to the channel and get these watch hours up. So Arsenal have completed the signing of Portuguese under-21 international Nuno Tavernas. He's a left-back from um, Benfica and um, he's cover for Kieran Tierney. We needed a left-back, which is very, very important business in case because Kieran Tierney's been injured. Say Kalasniac has been sold on a free, so he's gone and left the club. So because last season we were playing Saka and relying Sedwick at left-back and we always had a left-back problem near towards the end of the season when we were playing in the Premier League and in the Europa League last season. So, my thoughts on this signing, I'm not really keen on this signing, but when you think about it, maybe it's not a bad thing because it's £8 million, it's a left-back, and do I think Mikel Arteta should have gone for someone experienced? Like, like we were linked with someone like a Ryan Bertrand or a Patrick Van Arnold in the January transfer window. And I generally think maybe we could have got someone experienced. I know what people are going to be saying, right? Oh, yeah, they want might they might want high wages. Arsenal are going after players when they were, we were good five years ago, like Willian. Um, David Luiz was all right for Arsenal. He he was I think he was our best centre back towards the end of last season in our Europa League campaign. But it's not a bad signing, but. I expected we should have got someone better and uh, I don't want people to think I'm being a little bit negative on that. But if we can add some good additions, like we really need an, an attacking midfielder. We need a midfielder alongside Thomas Partey. If we can get someone like an Awa, maybe someone like a Bazuma alongside Thomas Partey or someone like we're bringing in uh, Lukonga in, which which will, will be some good business. So it's not a bad signing if you think about it. It's a left back, it's cover. And uh, we, we wanted the left back. We can't complain anything. So, £8 million signing. Would have expected someone experienced. But let me know what you think. Let, let me know what you think. And Arsenal need to obviously get some business in. We need to get some players in. We need to, what's, the, what's the hold of Granite Xhaka, Hector Bellowy and other players like that? We need to start getting some midfielders in like... A dream is to get someone like Hotham Awal or James Madison, players like that. But we're not going to be able to attract a Madison. But Awal looks like he could be in the next transfer window. But anyway, let me know what you think about Nuno Tavernas, our first summer signing of the 2021-2022 season. And um, I will be making some uh, updates. If Arsenal do bring any more players in, like the likes of Lukonga and Awal, then I will bring you on this channel, This Is Lucas Life, and update you straight away. And... Don't forget to smash the like button, leave your comments down below and we're on the road to 1.1k and I'll see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye!